Okay. Gonna get back into some pyre, finally. It's been a while again. I've, I've been having trouble keeping up with this game on streaming, and I think that's mostly because I'm not used to doing a lot of reading. Um, reading out loud, so my throat gets kind of dry and scratchy pretty quickly. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll get better at that as I do more of this. Um, we'll see. Um, also, I don't know. I, I like this game. I like, there's a lot of things I like about this game, but I, get, I don't, I feel like I don't find the gameplay quite as engaging as I found the, um, like, combat gameplay in, um, in, in Bastion and Transistor. Um, but I am, I'm pretty interested in the story and stuff that's going on, so I do want to keep up with it. Your senses guide you to a scrying pool somewhere in the muddy bleakness of Plaguemont, and you look upon the waters. Soon you experience a vision of Udmilda, who stood against Lendl and the accusers in her most recent rite. Ye foolish ones who dare defy ye Slak, stand ye aside, and perhaps he shall save ye for his final course. Shut your blasted mouth and quit your gloating, you. Thy words ring hollow, foolish one. Islak shall never spare any of ye. The vision fades. It seems the withdrawn prevailed against the accusers sometime not long ago, gaining the favor of the scribes. You wonder where their paths have taken them since, since as you return to the black wagon to pursue your vocations. Um, I'm going to keep doing this mentoring thing. I don't, I, I kind of don't see a reason not to. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and I was, I was thinking of trying to back out and, and attempt to change that, but it appears now that I've chosen to mentor, I can't change my mind about it. Um, okay. So he would not level up from mentoring. Um, he would not. She would not. He, it, he, it. I forget what, what Tzo is. Uh, would not. Um, he super would. She also super would. Um, well, yeah, why don't we... Why don't we get a second... Mastery from one of these two. So... If he banishes an adversary, one of his banished allies shall instantly return. After using his slash, he can use it again to instantly return to his previous position. That's a cool ability. Pretty into that one. Um, and then she... Um, can use her dash ability in rapid succession for less stamina. After saluting her adversaries, she instantly switches places with her nearest ally. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's mentor Sir Gilman, I think. I'm more interested in Pamatha's, like, story, but he that, that ability to, to do a slash and then jump back um, seems very useful for him because the problem I have with his slashing ability is that it's it's likely to like take him backwards from where I was kind of wanting him to be and so to be able to slash and then go back seems real useful and I think maybe I'll be more more interested in using him if I take that you asked Sir Gilman to explain to you in his own words the histories of the eight scribes and speak to how their varied backgrounds form the basis not just of the rites, but of the commonwealth. So 
So grateful is this knight for such a glorious occasion that he is giving strong consideration to performing here and now the forbidden dance of the Sea Dominion. Yeah, so I will take quick draw for him. This knight loves the Underking Auras the best of all, of course. Alright. I'll just straight on to the Pit of Malief, I guess. Pages revealed. Oh, I forgot I hadn't I haven't checked out there's a whole bunch of pages I haven't looked at. Um Hey you guys, where's your friend? You know the big one with the horns, likes frown and stuff like that? Something happened there or what? Heard a crazy story, she just flew on out of here or something. Anyways. <laughs> so I guess yeah, I might as well sell Soliam's horn. Because we have no more Jodariel. Ah. Um, can I see? Yeah, let me. I want to be able to see what everyone's got. Okay. Um. Two plus one plus one. Scribe snuff. Unlearn any masteries. Okay, so that's like a respec ability. Hmm. My adversary's vanished. Take longer to return. Oh, yeah. What did I sell? I sold a. Uh, Wasn't there something I sold back to the... Is it no longer in the shop? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, wait, who uses that? Fae. Her aura can bounce. Shut up. His mumbling is actually starting to get to me. Um, oh, that scribe rock could be dope too. No one has a ton of presence now that um, Jadariel's gone. Oh god, I don't know what I want. I'm not exactly rolling in dough here. It's real hard to say. Um, aura casting raises maximum range. After dousing the adversary's pyre, the bearer's pyre is restored by five. That seems like that could be real good. Um. I don't know. I'm 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 hesitating on this shit too much. Um I think I'm gonna get let me get a dash of stardust. And definitely this super cheap pinch. I don't know why that particular pinch is costs less than this pinch. For now, I'll save it, I guess. You know, I've really been hoping that eventually this thing would start giving me more than one per banish. Um...
Okay, but it's now at the highest rank, so... Clearly not. Um... Okay, I guess if... I guess if the... Um... Oops. I guess if... I guess if it's yellow, that means it's maxed out. Sir Gimlin is fuming in anger over something so much that you're hesitant to approach him, but you approach him anyway. Exile is too light a sentence for this night! He notices you then and seizes up. He begins acting rather nonchalant, as though his outburst did not transpire. Oh, greetings to you, noble, noble master reader. What brings you to this night this afternoon? Sir Gilman is attempting to make small talk. I'm going to ask him if everything's okay. You maintain a gentle tone with him and ask whether there is something he might wish to discuss. Sir Gilman, perhaps, could benefit from talking through his woes. He stands there for a time, silent and dejected. But then... Master Reader, this knight cannot escape the horrors of his past. It seems that you would hear them. Then you have this knight's apologies ahead of time for burdening you further with his troubles. Having said that, here, then, are the troubles you requested. You are, of course, familiar with the siege of the Spiral Sanctum. For this knight, the memory of it is like a wound which will not close. Am I familiar with that? Okay. The old capital was destroyed, I guess. This knight stood there on the front lines whilst the high-wing remnants descended upon us. So furious was their assault that our chain of command was ruptured instantly. We of the Sea Dominion, we require orders to perform our duty. Without such orders, why? We surely made a very easy target there that eve. One by one, then two by two, they picked us off, becoming bolder, some of them shrieking with laughter all the while. This night, he saw his comrades cast aside like sea flies. How this night survived, he does not know for certain, even now. Perhaps it was that he attempted to pursue and to detain his own knight commander, whom you met when you first met this knight. That cursed Sir Deluge. If not for his craven cowardice, the spiral sanctum it might have held at least a little while longer. But instead we were routed, rendered spineless both in form and deed. Sir Deluge was first to turn and flee as our chain of command crumbled. And as for this knight, he failed to catch his knight commander. He must have looked a coward too. Thus came the time for penance, and this knight, why, he insisted on the only course of action reasonable. He insisted on the sentence to the downside. And as you can plainly see, his wish was then fulfilled. How absurd that he should re-encounter his old knight commander here soon after. <coughs> Thus did this knight become obliged once more to Sir Deluge. We took to the waters in the Sea of Solace, where soon we met the Pyre Hearts, a triumvirate exclusive to our kind. It was plain to see that they lacked wherewithal, and Sir Deluge, they thought he could provide it the leadership they sought, and his was too much of a coward to decline. His was too much of a coward? I think that should just be he was too much of a coward. Anyway. Uh, as for this knight, being of the Sea Dominion, he had little choice but to comply. Or so at first he thought. When this knight, when he encountered you in the night wings, something awakened within him. With so little honor left to lose, and so much left to gain, it became eminently clear that this knight stood a better chance within your ranks than those of Sir Deluge. And there is little left to say. This knight cannot escape his past, and yet he chooses to believe that he was spared that, that day not merely by coincidence. Perhaps under King Oras yet has plans in store in which this knight may play a part. This night he clings, however vainly, to that hope. He slithers away, his head bowed low. 
It seems best to leave him for now. You sense he feels relieved at having shared all this. Mm, roster bio updated. How exciting. Um, oh, there's a scribe trial available. Did I know that when I quit last time? I probably did. <laughs> Alright, what haven't I read? Um... Uh, okay, I read that one for sure. Um, I don't think I read this one. The Eight Scribes. In the words of Gol Golathanian, the Master General, we found each of the others in due time by fate, not by coincidence. The wise Luce Glorian stood among the trees, gazing at the stars, expecting us. The wild witch Malith was so enthralled by my liege's utter transformation, she stayed her sorceries. Blessed born Triesta swooped down upon us, but to warn of imminent attack. The mini maned Jomur thus intervened and shared with us his humor and his hunt. Even the under king Oras himself sought out an audience with us. Thus we became the eight and journeyed on together. Oh wait, okay, so we haven't had we don't we don't have anyone whose stuff ties into Malif, do we? Cause Malif would be like a be like one of the um, bog crones, right? Um, and like her stuff is related to Triesta, his is related to Underking Auras, him related to Hobe, her to the rope collar. Is the rope collar even one of the shrines? Or shrines, one of the scribes? I thought the rope collar was the the traitor. The grand traitor's leanings. Hmm, I'm not sure. Um His is related to Joe Moore. Him to the Master General. And I think... And I think uh, Jody's was solely a Mur. So yeah, none of these tie into Malith, so I'm curious about that. Um, let's see, how did they update his biography? Oh, I guess just... I guess they just spell out exactly what his history is here. Basically everything they just told us. Um, oh, and we know about this stuff now. Yeah, so he, yeah, like it says, he actually didn't technically do anything wrong. Um, he volunteered for exile. <clears throat> um yeah in three three years I think probably isn't that long, right? I don't know. I don't like I don't know how long anyone else has been in the downside. Can people be born in the downside? Like no one's ever talked about that either, like I don't know. It's all very... It's all very mysterious. Oh yeah, I'm not really done with this. Because <clears throat> that was how far I'd gotten in this section. But I haven't really looked at the other sections at all, except to just kind of skim through them. <laughs> so this is technically page 25. It's interesting. Um, okay. So... Living in exile... This is in the words of Joe Moore Minimain. Once I too roamed free, I remember well those days in which I was called chief. I traveled all the world 
I traveled all the world over on my four good paws, and I was well adored. I wanted to grow stronger. Here at last I have. I shall not mince my words. This place shall either harden you or kill you. It shall haunt you with old memories. You share the exile's plight. My charge is to alleviate the sting of it for a little bit, and to prolong your stay, but only for as long as needed. Your charge is to return. We call this place the downside for a reason. But in time, here you can learn to eat, to seek out shelter, and to find a certain beauty in unlikely places. Okay, that's all we have in section two so far. Section three, the Forsaken Lands. These are in the words of Molten Malith, the Wild Witch. Years upon long years we spent distilling life essence from many things which all once writhed under the auspices of their mortality, which we ourselves cut short. In this we have no regrets, for we learned much, and so we think did they. We earned the title Witch, and were forced to flee into the downside. Here we encountered Solium Myr, and soon we gained an understanding of each other. He bade us circumnavigate these lands, and catalog our findings. We felt a strong desire to expose the secrets of this land. He wished to yield benefit to those who followed in our wake. Indulge us both, then. Flagging Hands. Beyond the valley lies the Flagging Hands, which could be called a swamp if an entire sea could merely be a lake. Soon after our arrival, several of us fell into a dark despair. Such were the environs. I found it rather fascinating, though. It held aspects reminiscent of the southern bogs we dwelt in as a tad. We grew accustomed to the dampness of the air, and grew to savor certain twigs and beetles. It can be said the flagging hands are an acquired taste, recommendable only for those of our same bent, or perhaps the downside's native imps. The sea surrounded the environs on three sides, appearing insurmountable at first. Mount Elodial. Gaining the summit of the sacred Mount Elodial involved no small amount of sacrifice and sorcery in varying proportion. The mountain's energies were palpable, a sensation that we felt indescribable. The lands we stood upon were closer to the stars than to the world we knew. It was upon this highest point in all the downside that we first made efforts to concoct this tome, which you now read. It was there that we were stricken with a vision of the cycle of the rites and felt together for the first a sense of freedom unlike any we experienced before. But that is a subject which our comrades shall illuminate in greater detail. Okay, that's all I have of that section so far. Um, section four, Celestial Landmarks. We've got uh, at least a couple pages. This is from Lou Sclorian, the Hundred Mines. A scholar, he's the, the tree, tree dude. Do you feel a kinship with the stars? You owe your everything to them. Perhaps one day, even your freedom. I chased the stars across the river of my genealogy until they led me here. I demanded they explain to me the paradox of knowledge. For how is it that something can be shared still contained within ourselves in its entirety. The stars did not respond, but sent me on a quest. I sought the nine landmarks which they revealed to me, so that some day I would reveal their mysteries to you. These landmarks, emissaries of the stars, are nine lenses through which we see the land and see ourselves in a new light. The Pit of Malith if there is one celestial landmark in which I would never again wish to tread, unless, of course, the stars beseeched me to, it has to be the pit. T'was dark in there beyond all reckoning. If not for Malith's sorceress lantern, all of us, we all would have been lost. What lies within the pit is not to be invoked, although I have no doubt our goodly underking shall be unable to prevent himself from boasting of how Malith sealed it there for an entire age. The thing that yet the thing yet lies there on the edge of death, 
through its connection to the stars, it gives the pit significance. Walk there with courage and a steady mind. The Book of Rites. Much can be said about the Sisters of the Arch, whom we banish to the great beyond for deeds irredeemable. Suffice it that the, the details of their banishment are written in this book. The Sisters and the book became inseparable. Not unlike the, the stars, their light, and the infinite darkness that engulfs them. The stars communicate to us, and, to, and you in turn. The words within this book are but an edifice, a simple surface. Look past the text, to the hidden meaning, to the hidden power. The stars above, as they are not mere lights, these are not mere words. If you chance upon the sisters of the arch within their prison here, give them our thanks. Not sure I remember who the Sisters of the Arch are. Were those like... I don't know. I don't know who they are. The Triumvirates. Nine Triumvirates. In the words of Haub the Swallow, the Accursed. At first I found it much too difficult to read, much less to write, even to grasp the quill. But the Horned One, Murr, implored me. He said this is the greatest gift that he could give me in return. In return for what, I asked. In return for his life, he said. But I did not save your life. I said. You did, he said. We fight about this still. Murr is stubborn, more than I. Now herein, and by his leave, I chronicle the nine triumvirates. For I am of this land, unlike the rest who wish to leave. We knew not everyone could leave who wanted. Seldom would the opportunity arise. Thus did we organize those striving for the chance into nine sets of three. Oh, okay. I don't have any pages on, on the specific people. On Commonwealth, in the words of Triesta Tithis, the Blessed Born. We the eight, assembled here together in, in the downside, we gave our freedom so that you may yet have yours. It is an exchange we have not lightly made. It is my charge to ensure that you, should you regain your freedom, first off recognize its qualities and also use it wisely. You do not need a pair of wings in order to be free. My own wings, I once thought that they could take me anywhere. And then they took me here, where I am bound. It is your charge to be free, and not to make the same mistakes. Spring from here and learn from what we did and build a new and great society, a free society, with wings spread wide for everyone. Okay. I think I'm actually have read all of the pages of the book so far. Now, let's see about our scribe trial. <clears throat> okay, so... Headwind can do a scribe trial. Oh, yeah, Headwind. Let's give you a flippin, a flippin, schmirpin, a flippin, schmirpin, uh, thingy doodle. Let's give you a, the contract. I don't know. I wonder if I can do those in practice rights. That'd be fucking dope. And I could fucking grind money. Yes, Sandra, to administer one of her special trials for Hedwin. Oh, you must mean that no, mad boy. So innocent, that one. I should have a lot of work to do with him. Then let us bring him forth. Soon Hedwin appears in heed of the summons. Hey, my friend, what's going on? I need some water. While this, while this loads. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, boy. You answer to me here. Understood. You are a fool. <laughs> That's not talking back. Your reliance on your friends is such a burden upon them. Let us see what you can do without their aid. Save for that of your lovely reader there. That's true, right? Like, most of the abilities I've taken for him to are like, let's make other people better.
Jesus, okay. Well, I'm off to a bad start. Oh, what? No bounty. Boo. Oh no, I wasn't paying any attention. I wouldn't be surprised if I lose this trial. Jesus. I mean, uh, I mean, I did, uh... I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna say right now I need to try this again. Um, I mean, for one thing, right, like, that's pointless. And now that I know that, um... Why is my hope taking a hit? It's a bummer. Um, let's see. Lunar glass or Hailwind crest. That's hard to know, right? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, like, how much of a boost... Lunar Glass gives me. I'm gonna go with the Tailwind Crest. Would this give me another point? No. Would help that, though. Um, I'm gonna give it... Oops, I floated it off the, off the frickin' frickin' schmerkin'. Here, let's chat first. Ah, my best friend in all the world, come to visit me again. Does it make you uncomfortable, perhaps, that I should call you thus? Perhaps you think that you do not know me very well, but I know you just fine. You reveal a great deal to me when you come visit me like this. You are not the only one who can sense things in others, you know. She laughs to herself. One learns to read a bit when forced to suddenly appear within a book for 837 years or so. Especially if one is wont to pry a little, you understand. For it gets rather boring here. I know all about you. A common wanderer who vowed to help their friends be free again. Only to end up spending all their time talking to an apparition stuck in a stone. Oh, I know about your loves or lack thereof. About your favorite pastimes. Certain habits you may be somewhat loath to admit. Fear not, of course. I use this special knowledge only as a means to entertain myself, I think. And if you don't like it, why just keep your distance like so many of your predecessors? As for the other Beyonders, they are as wraiths to me, and I must seem to all those idiots with whom you consort. I cannot confide as easily in my own kind as I am able to confide in you. But I suppose that I have said too much. Thank you as ever for the visit. You have given me a lot to think about, more than you know. Even though I didn't say anything, you just talked to yourself the whole time. I, I like I like Sandra, actually. <coughs> I wish she could be in my actual group. Let's give this another shot. And I'm going to be a little more careful. And I know there's no point in vanishing just to vanish. Because I can't get a fucking bounty out of this. Which I'm almost certainly means I can't get a bounty out of just a practice, right? Because, yeah, otherwise you could just grind up money. Jesus! Fuck! I do not know what tactic to take here. I freaking... 
I seriously don't. Oh my god. This is going to be so freaking difficult. Jump! Oh no. Man, these 1v3 ones are so hard, just anyway. Ugh. Yeah, I am not going to get this with him. Like, unlike a lot of these, they have a very balanced team. Um... And I'm just this jerk. Like, I just, this ain't gonna happen. Like, I'll be lucky if I can get a single score off. Although this is my fucking chance, obviously. Banishing two guys in one go. So hey, I didn't, I didn't not, I didn't not score at all, but now there's all three of them here, so. really lingered. <sighs> yeah, this is freaking hopeless. <laughs> Get past three guys, it's just not going to happen for me with him right now. If ever. This is brutal. Good job, Sandra. I mean, it was three on one, so... <laughs> yeah, let us go grow stronger first. Okay, um... Um, yeah, I guess we're ready... Ready to dive into the right. As the sky grows dark over the pit of Malith, a hush falls over your companions, especially Ruki. You sense something troubling him, something to do with your next adversaries. Oh, hey chum, just want to let you know I'm pumped and ready to take on the dissidents this time. Sure am, alright. Yeah, I think we weren't allowed to use him the first time. That Barker, he's not so scary once you get to know him like I do, you know? So don't you worry, because I sure won't be going easy on him after last time. As Ruki marches off toward the clearing, you notice his grin fade away. In the distance, you hear the dissidents begin to hoot and howl. <coughs> Breeder, ever persevering, aren't we? 
Well then, rejoice, because the cycle of the rites begins anew. Man, did I notice that there was a, like, a heart, a, like, chained up in this place last time? That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Presumably the heart of Islak. Just as you did when last you met. Now, who exactly shall oppose them? Yes, who? Oi, mate, look at what we have here. Greentail, is that you? Um, yeah, Barker, it's me, alright. Well, I'll be. So tell me something then, Greentail. You gonna go against me this time? Or keep on being a stinking coward like before, huh? What do I do? 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 Wait, wait! He says he wants to fight. If you can beat him, if you can beat him, maybe... Maybe he'll leave us alone. He'll leave the green tails alone. I can make it worth his while. Oh, he has a whole family he's worried about. Yowlson. He has, un he has a mother, Reba, and uncles, R Yowlson, Ruther, Robbie, Pudder, and Otto. So his family is his mom and five uncles. I wonder if those are uncles or, like, quote-unquote uncles. Um, Parker... What is it, mate? The rights rights about to start. <clears throat> well, I was just thinking, I know I owe you and everything, but I've got a deal for you. You like a good deal, don't you? Ha! I like a good laugh more like it. But I'll bite Green Tail. What's your fancy here? I was thinking, if I can beat you here, we're squared away. You let me off the hook. Ha! Huh. I see, I see. But tell me something, mate. Now why in this stinking world would I want to do a thing like that? What's in it for me when I beat you instead? Then, I'll pay you double what I owe. I promise. But you have to promise too. Curse oath. Oi, really now? Double or nothing then, is it? I. You drive a hard bargain there, mate. But alright, it's a deal. You beat me and my pack right here, right now. And you're debt free as far as I'm concerned. Of course, if you don't, I'll be fleecing you for all you're worth. You, your stupid uncles, and that dear old mum of yours. See you shortly, then. Ryuki turns to you. Hey, so this one means a lot to me. Do you understand there, chum? Let me go against these guys, and I'll make sure we show them up, okay? <coughs> by the by there, mates, my pack and I, we've got a few new tricks we're dying to show you real soon. Since Barker speaks the truth, the dissidents are more capable than before. Each time you face a triumvirate, they gain talismans and masteries. Do not underestimate them. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's check them out and see what they can do. So he's got a scribe. Dang, okay, so yeah. Bunch of presents for him. And he can cast his aura 50% farther. And he can double jump. Why are there like a billion of them? I don't know. I don't know why there's more of them than are in the match. Unless they can like switch up. Or like through the story, some of them can be eliminated? I don't know. Anyway. Prayer beads. After plunging into the adversary's pyre, the bear has a chance to avoid banishment? Holy shit, I want one of those. That seems like full-on cheating, though. Like, it's the whole, like, man... Okay. And then it seems like everybody has the same two masteries. Okay. And everybody has prayer beads other than Barker. Okay. All right. So we got to put in Rookie, of course. And... Uh, 
Not sure if I'm putting him in yet, so. Um, Ruki is gonna go in, and he's gonna... Jesus. He has so little presence. Um... have with him we've got cloud jump and we have lucky break all right well who okay who else am i gonna use um i think i'll try using sir gilman um I think I'll give him the contract. Does that make sense? Or maybe I'll use Tizo with the contract. He might be able to do some good banishing with the contract. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try using Tizo with the contract. Gilman with the Tailwind Crest. And Ruki with the Lunar Glass. Or his Joe Moore's Fang. <coughs> hmm. I'm gonna use the Lunar Glass. That way, I have two people who are who will be good at scoring, or who should be good at scoring. Know that your battle here is this night's battle too. Onward! All right then, Greentail, bring it on. It's or it's your dear old mum who's gonna pay. Okay, well that wasn't ideal. The night wings are the first to strike. But hey, that, that worked out. matter, Greentail? Methinks you seem a little nervous on your paws out there. Shut up already, Parker. Let's get on with it. What's that you say, huh? You think you can talk back to me like that, Greentail? You heard me, Parker. Stay out of my damn way. Or what, mate? Or I'll sink these nervous teeth into your neck, old chum. That foolish Barker was a menace to the Commonwealth and is a blight upon the rights. What? That was. There it is. All right. The two flames now burn equally as bright. 
I thought they had you there. of freedom. Your pyre burns brighter for the while. Neither triumvirate is closer than they are. Tis what the scribes ordain. Shit. The Nightwing's adversaries gained an edge. Get out, Tizo. to call who shall prevail as yet. Onward thus to greater glory. It seems the night wings are a bit ahead. Oh. The orb. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck. Each pyre now burns no more brightly than the other. Gilman vanished. Brilliantly done. Once more like that and we are finished here. Quite the close call there, no? And it is done. Okay, I did not do well at the bringing in money, but... Their adversaries came ever so close. Yeah, that was that was tough. They're definitely they're definitely getting tougher. Woohoo! We did it. We got him. Yeep. Uh, green tail, you. You got us fair and square, mate. As fair and square as this stuff gets, right? Um. So my family, you you'll leave alone. You said you'd leave them alone. Is off there, Greentail. A deal's a deal. Now that me and my pack had better step it up for when we see you and your mates again. I'll be looking forward. Ruki watches him depart, then turns to you as his expression softens. Don't know what to tell you, chum, other than I really owe you one. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. <laughs> Kill the 
next right. You return to the wagon after you and your fellow exiles prevailed against the dissidents and find Volfred waiting for you there. Well done back there, my kin. You are serving your companions well. Now, then, I have something that I wish to share with you, if you've a moment. We've discussed the plan, of which we're all a part. I have a means of measuring our progress toward the goal of it. <laughs> Current probability of success, 30%. Going up. I'd like for you to have a look at it. First, let's determine where the rites may take us next. Look forth. I expect you shall see several shining stars, where once you saw but one. <clears throat> All right. Several shining stars, a trick of the eye or the will of the scribes, who can say? I, too, once gained this newfound vision many years ago, following my first liberation rite, and I believe only we of the Nightwings have this gift. I realize that, in choosing whom the Nightwings confront in each rite, we in turn influence which triumvirate we face when the time comes for someone to be set free. The object I invite you to use contains further detail. Henceforth, you may use Volfred's Planner to see your current progress. An object that shows the relative standings between the nine triumvirates and the rites. Whichever triumvirate carries the most favor, or curry, sorry, curries the most favor, shall confront the Nightwings for a chance at freedom. Yeah, that's important. Using Volfred's pan Planner, you may assess your progress toward your ultimate goal, as well as check the current standings of your adversaries. Wolfred shall keep this information up to date for the remainder of your quest. You may look over it now, or any time in the Black Wagon, or while searching the stars. Okay, so... We don't know how many rites until the next Liberation Rite. Um... One additional exile is required to join the Nightwings and Fafif fulfill a key aspect of the plan. I wonder if that's Volfred. I still think eventually Volfred's going to join us. Or I wonder if like I said, no one seems to fit no one seems to fit the slot of Malith in our group. I wonder if a, a Bog Crone is going to join us. Um, so yeah, we we are still 9 and 0. We've won every time so far. Um, so I guess currently we'd be going up against the um, the Essence. Um, so favor, favor of the Essence. Triumvirate with the highest favor is poised to take on the Nightwings in the next Liberation, right? Um, so what makes... Okay, and the Dissidents went down, I guess because I just beat them? Yeah, it's like, how do I, how do I like, tweak this if I want to? Right? Like, I'm not, I'm not really sure... I guess that's because they have the best... I was going to say, is that because they have the best record? But they don't. Like, what makes the favor go up and down? I don't actually know, right? Because, like, the Pyrehearts have a shit record. Um, but they're higher currently than... than, um... than the, temp than the Tempers... Who the fuck are the Tempers? I don't remember them. A mighty triumvirate that has been the closest rival of the Nightwings. Oh, yeah, okay, they were the, the demons that I fought. 
in the previous... Okay, so they, like, dropped all the way to the bottom, I think, because I beat them in the Liberation, right? I mean, I don't know who I would want to face anyway, so, like, I'm, I'm asking... I'm saying, like, oh, like, how would I... How, how would I tweak this if I wanted to, but... <clears throat> I don't know that I do... I don't know that I care, or... But, like, I guess if I win up against... Who's Jade? Honorable... Or, Jade. Fate. That looked like a J at first. Fate. Okay. Um... But I mean, I guess they went down, so I guess if I wanted somebody to go down, like if I wanted to push Essence down, or Fate down, I would want to go up against them and beat them. Right? Oh, here it says. Okay. Um, favor is earned by prevailing in the rights. After a liberation right, a triumvirate's favor resets to zero. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So So yeah, I mean I guess I guess if I wanted to alter things I would seek out I would seek out a confrontation with someone now that I don't want to face later, assuming I think I could beat them. Like, if I was worried I wouldn't be able to beat them, and that's why I don't want to face them later, then I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to hard to guess. But, like... I guess just... To, to try it, let's... Let's seek out the, um... Let's... Let's see if I can seek out the, uh... The essence. I don't know if... I don't know if I can. I don't know if that's a current option. Um, um, I kind of wish I could, like, zoom out and see everywhere that's currently an option. Um, Malith is where I currently am. That would take me to the Accusers. That would take me to the Fate. Aren't there, like, four options? Or are, they only th or are there only three right now? Um, why does this quote unquote star look like a freaking black hole? Um, I guess let's go to where the fate are because they were pretty high up on the list. I mean, again, I don't know, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to be deciding, like, who to, to, to seek out or not seek out, so. So we're to go up against the, f we're to go against the fate again. Adversaries or no? I hope Delbert and Almer have been holding up. Seems they've been through quite a lot. He then shares with you what details he attained of your next adversaries. Dalbert Oldheart, an adversary who showed you respect and even generosity. Despite his advanced age, he also made for a formidable opponent, he and his son. The so-called Almer the Helpless, ever-present at his father's side, he was abandoned as an infant before Dalbert found him and raised him as his own. Dalbert taught his son everything he knew of his cultural heritage as a descendant of one of the Alpha Chiefs, thought to be descended from Jomur Minimain himself. However, his more vocal attempts to preserve old Kerr traditions in the Commonwealth often fell on deaf ears or even roused the anger of officials. One day he insisted on celebrating Fang Song against the wishes of his family. His family's caution was well founded in this case and he was taken into custody. Fang Song, an old, an old Kerr holiday in which a single pack of Kerrs vanquished an entire Imperial Brigade. Uh, 
As for Almer, as his father was led, led away, he put up enough of a fight to where he wound up sharing his father's cell, and soon enough his sentence. In the downside, their faith brought them in contact with a patch of, pack of spiritual curs residing in Joe Moore Valley. In time, they became acquainted with the rites and helped to revitalize the long-struggling triumvirate known as the Fate. They have since struggled on, at times flirting with freedom, though seldom getting within striking distance. Yet still, they long to find a way to return to their ancestral home and family. Poor Dalbert. Seems like a decent enough sort. Same for his son. In any case, we'll see them soon enough. Let's get some rest for now. You bid Hedwin a good evening. It is too late to take flight, so you make plans to rise at dawn to continue your travels. Page revealed the dissidents. The dissidents. I myself, Haub, did form the dissidents under this simple tenet. Those who do not belong, belong. The other scribes, some of them showed at first reluctance to allow an imp and one accursed to designate one of the nine triumvirates. But Murr, the horned one, stubborn as he was, stood by my side. In time they came to understand, for I remained, as ever, at their side, a living bit of proof of their absurdity. The dissidents are an extension of my oddity. Those who do not adhere, they are not to be discarded, underestimated, or dismissed. They are as necessary as are those against whom they rebel. What's up, Rookie? You look pretty down for for having one off your your family's debt. I'm free. Then he rushes up to you, a return to form. I mean, I know I'm not. I'm stuck down here with all the rest of you. It's just, it's like I finally get to set aside this giant bag of rocks I've been carrying around. Know what I mean? Wanted to say thanks, chum, for giving me a hand with the little situation between myself and Parker. I don't think I would have had it in me to stand up to him unless I knew you and the others had my back. Now at least old Mama Greentail won't get any trouble from him on the other side. She's still waiting for her rookie boy to come on home, but at least she won't be getting hassled by a bunch of nasty curs just because I struck a lousy deal. So yeah, chum, you ever need something, I owe you one, and then some. Curs oath. He prances out of the wagon, a newfound lightness in his step. Hey, a permanent plus two hope. That's awesome. Oh, and there's Wolfred's planner. Um. Okie doke. Let's continue on our way. I think I will probably uh, quit this game before I finish. Um, before I do the next right. Um, and I'll probably play a little of something else um, on stream. Uh, I think I think maybe that's what I'll do is I'm gonna try to start playing this game more frequently, but maybe not not for as long each time. Come on, we're leaving though. We're leaving flagging hands. Ugh. Bunch of bullshit. Whatever. Bunch of bullshit. The forbidding care now Haub lies below. Not many exiles see fit to cross beyond it. Some fear that the listless remains of Shaq's six shoulders shall snatch them up if they attempt to cross. Others simply do not want to pass through to flagging hands. What is this Shaq's six shoulders? The Bone Titan, slain by the scribe Haub the Swallow. Few know its true significance as we do. Although your adversaries, the Fate, should be on their way there soon. Or now. Soon you shall confront them once again. Okay. Okay. So we can stop at Shunt. 
Rocky Northern Pass, Ominous Cairn. Faye seems interested in visiting the Mud Baths. Or Lick Sand. Where Ryuki expressed an interest in seeing how the wild curves in this vicinity are doing. Uh. Let's. Let's, uh. Big, I'm a big fan of Faye, so let's see what she uh, wants to see. Touch down in the heart of Joe Moore Valley, where first you face the fate and the dissidents. You briefly wonder where they might be now and how they fare. You now have a little time before having to set forth by land. Oh, and a new, another option for a scribe trial. Maybe I'll have better luck with that one than Headwind's. Cause that one with Headwind is not going so good. Let's check out our page on Joe Moore Valley first. The Downside Prairie first appears serene. It is not. The soil there accommodates only the region's brutish native vines and overbrush. The most likely food sources prove poisonous. Thus we journeyed further north. The climate there grew fouler to my senses though the Kerr Jomor found it amenable. This sprawling valley, packed with long, evaporated lakes, gives evidence to the monstrosities which roamed this land. We found the region's western edge to be more pleasant on the whole. Therein we found sources of fresh water, whereas over to the east we found the edge of the land's most hideous decay. Alright. Let's see... Well, first, let's have a chat. Sandra is one of my favorites. You know, my lovely reader, I must admit that I did not expect your little followers to be quite so receptive to instruction as thus far they have proved. I know not whether they owe it all to you, or have somewhat more to them than I was first inclined to think. In any case, however, I am pleased that they are not entirely disgraceful. I'd like to keep my expectations well in check, seeing as I have been thus expelled until the end of time, so it is pleasant when those expectations are exceeded every now and then. Although I cannot quite recall when last that was. But the best part of all of this are the these brief times in which you visit me in my domain. I know you cannot for long, this damned crystal in which I am enthralled shall see to that. Though as you have perhaps surmised, whenever it decides that one of your little friends is worthwhile enough, why, I can offer them a trial, and likewise, I can offer you a chat. Sometimes I think, as you achieve those trials of mine, perhaps it does something to trim the length of my eternal banishment. Eternity being what it is, however, perhaps not. Still, if the trophies of those blasted scribes are worth something to you, then all you need is but to brave my trials, and they can be yours. And perhaps there's good in it for me as well. Then something changes in her, and she changes the subject. I've likely said too much. I am not to influence you in your use of the Beyonder Crystal. It is not there to be tampered with by anyone, including me. Forget what I said. Alright, I will attempt Gilman's trial. Though, I'm... Not sure how I feel about the likelihood of managing it given how rough Headwinds was. You think that dimwood of a worm has any chance? Perhaps you are correct, though I put little stock in him myself. Though let us bring him forth. Soon Sir Gilman appears, in heed of the summons. Master Reader, is this knight perhaps in trouble for something? I mean, kind of, dude. We'll see. The apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, worm, you answer to me here. Um, as you will, your highness. Your highness, I like the sound of that. The flattery shall get you nowhere here. Demonstrate your competence to me, then, worm. You shall have to do it mostly on your own, though under the guidance of your lovely reader. I trust you are prepared. 
Of course, your highness. This knight accepts this challenge. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. I need to pay more attention to what's going on when I do these. Oh, I do not see this going well. Oh, definitely not. Okay, it's definitely going better than it was with Hedwin. Let's, let's say that. Sure it is. Ah, oh, no! That's not good, but I should have time to... No, maybe not. Maybe not. Come back, come back, come back! Fuck. That's bad. It's real bad. Can't let them score again. Come on, dive in. This guy's a little bit hard to control. Okay. Nope, that's not. That's not a thing. That's. I'm dead. Well, I mean, okay, so it's doable with him. It'll, it'll be doable. I, I can pull it off with him. Um, yeah, let's just try this again. I got close. Try banishing your adversaries to create an opening. That would make far too much sense. Okay, that was super garbage. I don't know what happened there, but... What? Hey, 69. Okay, I can't... Why are all three of them back? They were the last ones to score. All three of them should not be back. All right, I'm rage quitting this trial. <laughs> um, I'm I'm uh I'm not on my best I'm not on my best pyre form today. Um, these trials are getting harder. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here with this game. Um, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna take a quick. break. No, no, not really a break. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna switch some things over um, on OBS so that I can switch games. And then I think I'm gonna play uh, I think I'm gonna play a little um I'm having a brain fart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to um, Dead Cells. So so yeah, so I'm gonna do that. 
Um, so just a moment, and I'll talk to you again shortly. Okay, I'm back. Gonna play some Dead Cells. Hopefully gonna figure some new stuff out, but who knows. We'll see. Um, let's see what options I have. To start out with, Valmont's Whip, which I've heard is real, a real tricksy weapon to use. Well, Electric Whip, so I can go, I can go double whips. Um, because I mean, the the key, the key to Valmont's Whip, you can see right up there where it says shows the damage. Fifty three damage is its standard damage. But 320 damage if you can hit enemies at maximum range. So it's like, okay. Gotta hit them right at the max, though. This is, like, not a great... I'm gonna be... Okay, here's... This is probably dumb, but I'm gonna go with an electric whip and a shield. I already know I'm gonna want to replace both of these, like, ASAP. Um... But, you know, we'll see. Not doing good at, at, at parrying, that's for sure. I'm off to a real bad start. judgments on based on what I have now because I don't want to keep either of these. I'm like considering whether I should go back and just grab the frickin' little rusty sword. I think I'm going to actually. Well actually what I'm gonna do Yeah actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do these two. I think. Fuck the shield. I'll go rusty. I'll go rusty sword and electric whip for now. Oh god! Oh my god! as long as I don't die.
Ah, shit. No. Toxic stewards. Well, there's definitely stuff I haven't picked up here yet. So. Like, there's this part of me that's like, oh, maybe I should rush through to, like... Um... To, like, look for... Try to get some of those locked... Time locked rooms, but... I feel more like, no, that would be a bad idea. Um... Throwing knives versus electric whip. Um, I dig... I dig bleeding damage. Electric whip technically does more damage, but... I do really dig bleed bleeding damage. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Um, I consider them pretty equivalent. Um, for the most part. But, um, bleeding, bleeding is a nice effect. And it's something that might synchronize with things moving forward. Which, which, um, which, um, the electric whip wouldn't, right? The electric whip's just a whip, but the um, throwing knives could be anything. It could even be a boat. for a thousand. I will pass on that. Uh, I'll definitely open this, though. What do we got? Oh, Jesus. KO Shield 2. Attacking immediately after parrying inflicts 300% damage. You know, if I didn't have to get rid of these throwing knives, I might go for it, but... not a fan of the shields, frankly. Not a spot that I can't just can't get up to, looks like. Really need to figure out how that stuff works. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can make him so angry that he attacks me or something. Nope. Uh, ooh, fire grenade. Infantry grenade. Damage dealt times two. Damage received times two. What? How did they put that shit on weapons now? Or on skills? I'm not into that. Um. Two status effects I can potentially inflict on people now. I don't feel like I ever found any teleporters in here. Could that be right? Could I have... Could there be no... I mean, I mean, not the big teleporters. Obviously, there's a bunch of those. But, like, the little... The teleport rune-type teleporters. I think there's at least one scroll I could get to that I haven't, though. Yeah. Down this way. Can't pass up a scroll. Scroll's very important. Um. Oh, yeah, and then. Uh, Nutcracker. Um. 
yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't find any teleporting sarcophagi doodads. Um, disappointed I was not able to acquire a better a better sword. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Gotta take what you can get. Um. I wonder if this is what it refers to on the starting items as cannot be sold. Because you don't appear to be able to sell things at the shops, at the merchants, as far as I've ever seen. Sorry for pausing a second. I need to put on a, a sweatshirt. A little bit chilly in my room. Um... I'm gonna keep working on this. I, I'm, I'm getting a very, like, sunk cost fallacy thing going on here with the health flask for. Um, like, there's other stuff that I think look real good, but I just keep buying that. Um, Cause I really wanna get it. And I know eventually I'm gonna get there. Um, definitely gonna go ahead and start with this bugger. Especially now that I know you can, you, you get to replace it after it gets used. <laughs> um, oh, where's that locked door? Yeah, you really gotta blow through. I mean, if I had come straight through... I maybe would have made it, who knows. Oh, God damn it. That poison damage, man. What are you gonna do? Oh, and I notice the weapon just lying there is still only level two. They must have changed exactly how some of this shit works. In the in the past. In the past, you would find um, somewhat better items on the ground here. Like you would, you would expect to find a level two item um, in um, uh, in the promenade. You'd expect to find level two, level one items in this prisoner cell, level two in the promenade, um, and for taking this this harder path, you would find level. Um, level three items. Um, but this one is not, so... That's... They must have changed how they how they do the, that. How they do the item weapon and item scaling. Oh, is that a double shot bow? Double notched bow? I really liked that when I had it before. Oh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure... I don't know. We'll see if that's a thing I can possibly get to. Looks like the answer to that is no, unless I learn how to jump up high or whatever the fuck. I've seen some of these high pathways, like so there clearly must be a way to unlock an ability to wall jump, maybe? Because they're always in like kind of They're always in like kind of high up like little like 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 chimneys, you might say.
Um, so yeah, maybe there's like a wall jump rune or something. Oh god, fuck! Ah, uh, fucking poison! Ah! Uh. I tried to throw my grenade and it wasn't off cooldown yet. Stack that bleed. Best way to best way to handle this shit. That guy might rush me. Here's another one of those spots. There must be some kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm betting there's some kind of wall jump rune. Um, um, I can get access to. Uh, I really want to replace this sword, but I currently have nothing that's green, so that's, red's clearly the better way to go. So are you are you purely lurking right now, Tina, or or are you uh, kind of here? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, how how was your how was your morning? Did you did you do anything fun before you went to work? Oh god! Ah, fuck! That was a real fucking waste of that ability. Usually the, uh, usually the, the fucking throwing knives are so good at dealing with those guys, but there was somebody else who was closer and I couldn't throw the other one soon enough. That might totally, like, fuck this run. We'll see. I might still be able to survive this floor, despite having 
really wasted that. Oh no, what happened? What happened at work last night? about it on on streaming. Um, and I know you haven't told me about it, so what do I know yet? But I'm, without knowing, I'm going to go ahead and guess that I bet it's not as bad as you are worried it is. Oh, God, get me out of there. Okay, I don't like any of this. No! Okay, that was... That... That was... That was very disappointing. Disappointing, but not surprising. I didn't... I didn't really expect to... Uh, didn't really expect that to go that well, honestly. Here we go. Oiled sword, I feel better about. Throwing knife, yes, thank you. I feel much better about both of those things. That was a warm up run, right? to hear that work was not great last night. How how's the bullet journal going? Uh, let's see. Anything better on burning targets? Heavy grenade to... Um, I do like turrets, but that turret sucks. Um, there we go. Um, this is like the fastest I've ever gone through that. I'm going to see if I can't get to that locked door. Ah! It pauses time here. That's cool. Um, I'll go with this one this time. I feel less... I'm not sure. It might need to be like 90 seconds, so I might still... I might still not be able to make it too, but it might be like two minutes. We'll see. I might still, I might have wasted my, I might have wasted some opportunities. Oh God, fuck off. <laughs> I might have almost died there. Um, 
No, it's still locked. Eight seconds ago, fuck you! Yeah, it was like two minutes. Ugh. Yeah, I've seen I've seen those pictures. They look they look nice. I don't really know much about this whole bullet journal thing because I haven't I haven't really watched a lot of those, those videos, so I don't totally I don't don't totally get what the whole thing is. But it looks it looks good. Um, so so if it's going good for you, no, oh, Jesus. I kinda wanna restart this whole goddamn run. I felt so good about how it was going, like, right off the bat, and then. And then I fucking. I fucking fucked it up. I fucked. I fucking fucked it. Yeah, it, it really looks like you have to put a lot of work into setting it up yourself, which, um, I mean, like, I guess if you, I guess if you put that effort into it, um, from the jump, like, it's probably gonna help you keep working on it, I suppose, right? Um, you know, you'll have more investment in it. Um, but I know, I know from what I've, I've seen you doing, like, I feel like I would find it, like, really daunting, um, at the beginning. I'd be like, oh gosh, I don't, this is so much, so much work to put into, into just, just getting started on this. And yeah, I mean, and it's cool that it'll be, it'll be, it'll be like totally your thing um, when you're done, which will be nice. Everything is for sale. Yes, yeah, so like, is there a way I could like sell stuff? Uh, um, should I go to during my three? Probably, right? 50 plus 50% 50 damage on your health is at its maximum. Um, I mean, how often is that going to happen, though, really? Uh, I'm going to save my money for now. I'm feeling pretty okay about my money. Or pretty okay about my gear. Definitely need some upgrades. Chase me, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. Not good at dodging after they teleport. Um, gonna 
go tactics. Okay, and yeah, now I'm noticing that it shifts... It shifts the representation on... On the gear box. Um... So yeah, so like if I have even tactics and brutality, then that, then the heavy grenade is like, it shows it's split 50-50. And if I don't, then it shifts it more and more. Um, ugh, this does not look like a fun place to get through. There we go. That was as bad as I thought it might be. and a flashbang. Uh, stun. A little bit of damage and a stun. Causes arrows to fall. Um, these two have such a good combo, though. Ugh. Flashbangs are pretty dang good, though, but... And I've also got the oil. Like, I can't give up a fire grenade. Oh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I can take it. I'm glad, so I'm glad it also had souls in it. Or not souls, cells. Um, alright. Back up here. Ooh, some free guts. Needed those. Good, an elite enemy. 
fuck it, I'm gonna potion up and then fight that thing. This has already not been going great. Why are you not phasing to me, you jerk face? Like, you can phase normally. Oh, God! Fuck! Fuck! Ow! Ow! Nah, there we go. I'm doing so fucking good at this game today. <clears throat> I'm just the fucking best. I'm the best at video games. Alright. Granic sword. Double notch bow. Let's fucking do this thing. Something good, like a infantry grenade. It spawns a swarm of fighters. Oh, that was more dodging. Ice cream. Uh, hmm. e yes. I mean, there's no reason for me not to take it. Assassin's dagger. Would I rather have that over the frantic sword? Um, I guess. Really got to do the backstabbing though, or it kind of blows. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'll give that a go.
bleed blood, bleed blood sword, blue bleed blood sword. Um, oh, rapiers are dope though. Real into rapiers. I will definitely buy that over the assassin's dagger. Promenade. Fuck the promenade. We're gonna go to the sewers for sure this time. Um, and I definitely will pay a thousand for a scroll. Um, which I will put into brutality. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That was where I started, I think, at the bottom, right? This is interesting that the prisoner cells are so... went so up. Hmm, what is that? Is that just a fire sword one? What it... or fire grenade one? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay a thousand for that, I don't think. None of my shit cares about burning, right? No, not really. No, nothing cares about burning. Am I just... No, I can't just be done, because I haven't found how to get to... Oh! Oh, I see where I haven't been. I see where I haven't been. I haven't been. I haven't been to the right. Definitely not going to the... Uh, oh, I could have picked a better teleporter. Definitely not going to the locked, locked room here. That was, that was effective. Not missing any secrets, am I? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Alright, let's move on. I feel much better about... about the stuff I'm getting on this run. Um, God, I want, I kind of want to try all of these. Go ahead and take this one to begin with. Because I suck. I suck at video games. Um, so that might help me. Help me a bit more. Yeah, like two minutes and yeah. Yep, they appear to all be like two minute, two minute doobers. God, no, 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 no. that star oh shit is there an elite is there an elite enemy is that what that means Ugh. 
you elite? No, you just had a scroll. Well, that's awesome. Um, gonna go. I don't know. Kind of. Let me go brutality this time. covered how I'm no I yeah no I am I'm bad at games wait wait is that is that what we're saying I do not I do not bad at games um I'm I am bad at games this this is a true fact I don't know why I decided to kill that worm via, via like, ground stopping attack. That was probably a bad idea. Um, plus 30 on bleeding. Um, no. I mean, wait, I said no. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not a good, I am not, a, I am not elite pro gamer by any, by any stretch of the imagination. at me, worm. Or just stay over there until I shoot you. But I guess that must have been a... That pit must have been slightly... That pit must have been slightly too far for it to um, dash across. Doing much better with the the gear at yeah, but okay. The the question here, Tina, isn't who is better at games. It's 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 am I am I bad at games? And the answer is yes. Um, at least these games, especially. I am not, I'm not very good at these kinds of games. Um... Fuck off, worm. No one likes you. Alright, where the heck am I going now? Oh. Can I go in this door? No. You know, I've noticed, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I've seen these doors, I'm pretty sure I've seen one of these doors with like three circles on them. This one only has two. I don't know if these doors are just like actually do anything or mean anything. Or maybe they don't yet, but they will, I don't know. But I'm kind of... I'm I'm wondering if maybe there's something uh, up with those doors. Um, I guess maybe I will eventually find out if I keep playing this game, and or Google it. Okay, well here's this thing again. It's my rune.
Don't think I won't get my rune back. Okay, I don't... There's no one else. Like, okay. So I ran... Is there... What? I don't understand. What rune? Not the thing that's supposed to spawn biters? Oh, from victims. So they to die. Oh god. I lucked out there. Oh boy. That's some potentially nice stuff. I hope I can get up there. Oh, looks like I can. Maybe. Um, shots fierce first target. Heavy grenade three. Enemies burn. Ice grenade three reduces chance of unfreezing an enemy when attacking. Ew. Into that. I'm okay with my infantry grenade, though. Especially until I get the cooldown reduction mutation. Oh no! Oh boy! Elite. Uh... Gosh, I don't know about an elite. Oh. Oh no, guts. No guts, no glory, right? Except that now I'm dead. Um. No, oh, fuck off! It's fucking exploding things, man. Fucking tell ya. Well, that was a waste. I kind of knew it was going to be, though. Go away! Okay, it's just going to, like, hang out where I am, I guess. that jerk. Ooh, brutality plus one. All damage taken minus 10% damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That is a rad amulet. I am very into you. Um, definitely gonna go tactics. That did not mean to do that. Yes, this one has one circle. Okay. Nope, but I still can't open it. 
Like, my guess was gonna be like, oh, maybe you have to... Maybe you have to go to them in order. But... Still nothing on that one. Infantry bow's pretty good. Uh, so an infantry bow 3 compared to a double-notched 1. Definitely gotta go with the infantry bow, even though not... Not into the... Not into that bonus effect. Like, how often am I at full health? Like, basically never. Because I am not, I am not, I am not good at video games. Despite, despite claims to the contrary. God, those fucking flying, exploding dudes. They are gonna fucking be my downfall, Garen fucking T. Okay, there's one of those that I don't have a way of dealing with yet. There's a challenge rune, which seems like a real bad idea to me, personally, right now, which is why I'm gonna do it. You know? You gotta, you gotta take those risks. Two minutes and 30 seconds to kill 52 enemies and not get hit! Look at this! This is gonna be easy. Nope. Failed already. Awesome. I have gotten through those in the past, like previously when I used to play this game. Don't you fuck off, please. Okay. I think I'm actually going to make it through this floor, though, so that's good. I feel good about that. Biter Swarm 2. Biter Swarm 2. Um. I might be into that over the infantry grenade or the. or the ice grenade. No. Mm, no. No. The real short cooldown on the infantry grenade is nice, especially for bullshit like those flyers and. Yeah. Not gonna do that. Oh my gosh, there's still a bunch of shit. There's still a path down from that teleporter over there. Oh, cursed chest. I am definitely not going to open you. I know I was talking some shit about like, oh, gotta, gotta fucking take risks and stuff, but how with a fucking cursed chest. Not with the game I'm having. 
If curse still if curses still work the same way as they used to. You, oh, okay. I guess there isn't any more for me to do. If curses still work the same way as they used to when I played this game in the past, um, you have to kill a certain number of enemies without getting hit. And, like, that's not, that's not gonna happen. I, d I don't have the build for that. The build or the skills. Um... I'm a naughty chest. I deserve to be punished. Oh. I've got so much to give you. You know I'm hiding a lot inside. You don't want to see what I've got for you? Come on. Just a little peek. <laughs> Open me, goddammit! You know what, I'm, I am actually going to do it. Because I'm right by the exit to this level, so at least I can turn in these souls. I'm saying it again, I haven't even played Dark Souls, and I'm calling them souls. At least I can turn in the cells I've already got. Um, even if I die right away in the ramparts. Um, so yeah, fuck it, let's do it. I can find out if, if curses still work the same way. Yep, take one hit and you're dead, eliminate ten enemies to lift the curse. So I'm going to have to play super cautiously um, until that point. Um, let's see. I'm going to go with... I kind of want to go with Brutality, but... I think I'm going to need to rely on my... Um, skills and ranged weapons a bit more, so I'm gonna go with tactics. Um, and I am gonna take the sinew slicer. Because that'll help me kill some enemies from oh, away. What the heck is this? Colorless. Your highest tier applies to this object. Oh, interesting. You take plus 20% damage? Oh, cool. That's super cool. Maybe I'm not gonna take that. Shots pierce the first target. Um. I'm gonna take this for now because unless I can kill 10 enemies without getting hit, um, taking extra damage won't matter. Um, and if I'm able to clear the curse, I'll just, I'll just get rid of it as soon as possible. Two mutations available. Um, so we're going to take the cooldown reduction. And I'm going to take double ammunition, because the infantry bow is great, but doesn't have a lot of ammo. Um... And now I'm going to try to kill 10 enemies without getting hit. Wish me luck. It's not going to happen. Um, but you never know. I've successfully cleared curses in the past in this game. But, um... There's one. Nope, there we go. Dead. End of game. Um, and it's almost four o'clock. Uh, um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, thanks for watching, Tina. Pretty sure you're the only one who's watched. Um, but I appreciate it. Um, thank you to anyone who watches in the future. If you do watch this in the future, why don't you uh, click follow? It doesn't. It doesn't cost you anything, and it would make me feel really good. Um, and then you can watch me do bad. You can watch me be bad at, at uh, dead cells um, later. Maybe on Sunday. 
or uh, next week. Probably not tomorrow. Um, have a good Friday, everybody.